Hello and in this video we're going to take a look at A-level physics specifically for Edexcel. We'll take a look at pulse echo technique and its limitations in this video. So specification point 88 states that we need to understand that waves can be transmitted and reflected at an interface between media. And specification point 89 states that we need to understand how a pulse echo technique can provide information about the position of an object and how the amount of information obtained may be limited by the wavelength of the radiation or by the duration of pulses. So what is pulse echo technique? Pulse echo technique is a diagnostic technique in which short duration ultrasound pulses are transmitted into the region to be studied and echo signals resulting from the scattering and reflection are detected and displayed. Looking at the context of ultrasound, imagine you have a transducer. This is a device which sends out pulses towards a particular medium. The transducer is constantly timing from the moment the pulse is sent out to the moment that there is an interface between the two different media. And an interface is purely just that boundary between the two different media. And when a wave passes from one medium to another, some of its energy is transmitted, while some of that energy is also reflected. Now, the proportion of energy transmitted or reflected depends on the two media involved. If the media have very different densities, then most of that energy will be reflected. However, if they are similar in densities, then most of that energy will be transmitted. And based on this technique, you are able to produce images of the body's internal organs as well as blood from through the vessels. So as we take a look at this following animation on the right hand side, we have a transducer. And that transducer sends out ultrasound waves of a high frequency and short wavelengths. And as the waves interact with the given object, which in this case is a red circle, some of that energy is reflected back to the transducer, while some of that energy is also transmitted through the object. And the transducer times how long the reflections take and is able to map the precise location of the given object in real time. Now it's important to note that in ultrasound imaging, in order to produce a clear image, there has to be shorter pulses so that reflections from nearby interfaces don't reach the transducer before the pulse has ended. And it's also important to note that shorter wavelengths are necessary as they result in less diffraction so the waves spread out less and therefore you're able to produce a more clearer image of that given object. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video has cleared any questions anyone's had about pulse echo technique. Thank you and goodbye.